You got your toque on? Yeah, my toque, my ears are cold. <laughs> Down here in the dungeon, it gets a little bit chilly this yeah. time of year, don't you know? I see you did raise the temperature, but 71. Yes, I, I bumped it up a little. Yeah, one degree. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, Keep fast. Got to conserve electricity, because I care about the environment. Yeah. Well, at least how popular my wallet is. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. Tonight is a story about a beer that I've got from my good friend Dale at Craft Beer Central. You can see his swag in the back there. And his information down the bottom as a beer from Odell Brewing Company, who's in Fort Collins, Colorado. Which beer is it, Johnny? Uh, Double Pilsner. <laughs> I thought that was just the style. <laughs> no, no, that's the name, too. <laughs> it's a Imperial Pilsner. Of course, in the, the, the dudes on the label said it's a Double Pilsner. So Imperial Pilsner, Double Pilsner, who knows? It's an anal release. Uh, in the late fall. You have been having anal releases tonight yourself. Yeah, I tell you. You too. Uh, it's no. got an ABV of 8.1 and an IBU of 39. So uh, how, how is this a double Pilsner if it's an IBU of 39? The um, the alcohol. Usually they're lower, like, ah, like 5% yeah, or something. There you go. Yeah. That's why he's a beer geek and I'm not. See that? We all have our job. So this beer, um, I've heard good things about it. I haven't had a bad Odell beer yet. Um, we really like the Frenette Porter. Okay, did you, like, take my piss and pour it into my glass? <laughs> I know mine's at least 8.1 or higher. That's the traditional... And that's uh, yellow. Yeah, it is yellow. And that's my piss. That's right. It's it's a nice urine yellow color. It's warm. It's a Pilsner. That's what it's supposed to look like, right? Warm? <laughs> it does look like piss. Okay, when you swirl it, Getting some decent glass lacing, no head to speak of, it didn't even pour the head. Plenty of alcohol legs coming down the glass at 8.1%. 8, 8. Uh, Whatever chum it is, it's white. Yes. <laughs> it, it looks like a Pilsner. It looks like a beer, yeah. right? Wouldn't yeah. you say that, guys? Like a stereotypic looking yeah, beer. Yeah, wouldn't you say that, guys? Answer us back. Eh? They will in the comments. Yeah. Especially after we say it's a Pilsner, it looks like piss. They get, they get a little touchy about that mm. stuff sometimes. So, let's see what, see what the aroma's like it's on it. It's supposed to be like a take on the Bohemian style, but it's their interpretation of that, so. Plenty of, you can pl there's plenty of the spicy sort of uh, hops in there. Maybe it's like some Saz. You can smell the, the pale malt that they've used in there. It has that, that Pilsner, almost lager beer type, you know, yeah. lager beer type smell from the yeast. Um, it's grainy, a little bit bready and sweet, not very complex in the aroma. And it smells tasty enough to drink, kind of like a, like something you pair with food. Let's take a sip. Cheers. It's funny, when he said it's like bready, it's when I took that first sip, and that was one of the first things that hit me, was that doughiness mm -hmm. right there, with a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. It's not a real complex beer. Mm -hmm. It's quite simple. It tastes decent. I mean, for a Pilsner, it is what it is. You're not going to get much complexity. It's a back-to-back -back drinker. Now, this one, the 8.1% is really well hidden. It doesn't taste boozy for what it no. is. I get a little bit of warming going down in the chest, but... What, what's surprising is, for an IBU of 39, mm -hmm. it's got a good hop kick to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice, pungent... And it's plenty little... fresh. On, um, they got the yeah. dates on the side of their bottle. says plenty fresh for what it is. Yeah. Um, Tasty beer. I mean, I don't know if it's something I would seek out. I prefer Heavy Seas Uber Pills over this. Remember that one we had at the at the brewery? It was a while ago. Yeah, but it, that has a, a bigger taste and bigger presence to it. But it's not a bad beer. I don't know. It's not like an Earth Destroyer or Mind Blower. But, I mean, how do you grade a beer like this? Well, the boys over at Rake Beer, they gave it a 63. So they called really? it basically a D. Um, Come on, rape beer. What the fuck? Beer Advocate gave it an 86. Um, I like it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'd like it on the 8th or 7th or 8th of February yeah. in, in the cold dungeon, mm -hmm. but it's it would be a good summer brew um, to have in the late afternoon, something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I like it it's, enough. I'm going to give it an 88. Mm -hmm. I, I just, there's good flavor. Um, just enough of that hop kicked at the end that I, I wasn't expecting out of it. 
especially I'm thinking, I guess, of more of a <laughs> don't kill me out there, Budweiser. But you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it, it's a good, it's a good beer. I really like it. I think for what it is, it has a decent mouthfeel. Also, it's like got a medium mouthfeel. It's not thin and watery. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a dry finish like some pilsners can have. It has a little bit of a dry finish. A little bit, but I, I get like kind of like an herbal sort of like floral finish in the hops. Yep. And like Johnny says, I think this is a beer that would play better in hot weather. Like you would appreciate it more and say, wow, it has more flavor for what it is. And you'd, you'd probably maybe grade it higher. It's definitely a good break from all the crap porters we've had tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been let down by some porters tonight, but, and we got two more to drink too. But I'm going to give this one an 85. I think it's good. It's a solid B, almost a B plus. Um, beer and I would drink again. I don't know if I necessarily seek it out. I don't really seek out Pilsners that much. Yeah, but. And, and that's that's the thing. Why don't we? I mean, obviously it's not our style, but it's something we you know need to try a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think because I if I'm gonna drink a, a beer in like the hot weather, I'm gonna go for like a Hefeweizen yeah. or maybe like a just like a regular single pale ale, maybe but something I think, like that. I think just a good burger, some. You know, bacon burger or something like that with this. Yeah, we'll have to try hot something dogs, like this again in the like summer yeah. when it gets hot. Because I'm yeah. sure some of the, especially like the Virginia Craft Brewers, the newer ones, I bet you they'll have some Pilsners or something they're coming out with. So, anyways, I'm giving it a high B. Johnny's giving it a B plus. It's a tasty beer that we'd both drink again. Um, we, we if, Even if we wanted to seek it out, we can't because it doesn't get distributed in this area. So that means, Dale, thanks send a million us some for more. sending this. Yeah, you can send us more, true. Yeah. Thanks a million for sending this. I don't know if we'll send this. anything back, but you can send us more. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'll send it back. Don't worry, Dale. Anyways, till next time, guys. Thanks a million for watching. And if you can think globally and drink locally for me and support the craft beer movement, that would be really totally awesome. And you know? for me, uh -huh. just send me more beer. <laughs> you don't have to do anything for Johnny except the beer. He's an easy to go, easy going kind of guy, right? Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> so until the next time, guys. Thanks a million for watching. Until then, that's a big ass. Peace out.